Ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you can hear me, but that's okay. We're going to be playing Wargroove today. Ah. Oh. All right. First of all, I have not actually played that many different games in the last two, three months. Also, hope the audio balancing is okay. I <laughs> had the game muted, then I unmuted it, and I was like, whoa. Yeah, I'm cranking this puppy down. Okay, there we go. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, last two, three months, I've just been like, Dota, Magic the Gathering. A ton of Magic the Gathering. Like, crazy Magic the Gathering. Um... And, uh, again, I will say, I think one of the greatest decisions I've ever made with my entire life is the new game every week-ish. Getting exposed to new games, all sorts of things, so glorious. This game, Wargroove, I'm excited about it. I got the chance to meet the developers, some of the folks who worked on Wargroove, at the PC Gaming Show earlier this year, where they were talking some about the game, but then also did a live showcase of the map editor, which is, like, super quick, fast, easy. Um... For me, I'm just going to be doing the single player. Mm-hmm, that's right. And a lot of people say that this is like Advance Wars. Did I play Advance Wars? Mm-mm. Came out when StarCraft was my thing. And uh, pretty much missed 20 years because I was in the time vortex of StarCraft. So, as someone who's never played Advance Wars, then... Perfect. It's my first chance, my first foray into the game. I'm going to hit that single player button. We're going to hop on in. It's going to be grand. Dude, I gotta say, I love when art styles are like SNES ish, but then also have some modern um, artistic techniques to them. Alright, let's do campaign. One rainy night at Cherrystone Castle. This weather is giving me the spooks. Did you hear that? Cut it out, it's just thunder. But I'm, uh, going to patrol the throne room. Hey, hey, wait for me! Ah! Here comes us. <laughs> Cowards, jumping at shadows and dropping their guard. Oh yeah, get me into a game right away. Getting to the king shouldn't be much of a challenge. <laughs> Hello. There he is, all alone in his chambers. How convenient. All right. Fewer guards I dispatch, the quicker this will be. But some unfortunate wretches still stand in my way. I'll start by defeating that one over there. Let me go ahead and. Ah! All right. It's turn one. Oh, this is interesting. As I'm moving around, the interface changes. That's dope. Is there a menu to make it not do that? All right, no, there sure ain't. I'm gonna click on this. Ah, I see. Ah, look at these great arrows. I'm gonna walk over here. Oh, okay, so I just plan everything out. Where'd I go? There I am. Smacked on. Boom. Turn one. <sighs> mm -hmm. It is time. Time my daughter learned the truth. But how do I tell her? Um. So I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. One of the things I adore very much is the tactical combat, where when it's time to fight, you like zoom in. And then it's like, oh, fight. Um, the, the first game I played a lot that was like that, and I don't know if any of you are familiar with this game, Shining Force 3 on the Sega Saturn, the greatest console that has ever been developed. Cernum, have you ever played a Fire Emblem game? No, I haven't even seen a screenshot. Yeah, Sega Saturn is my favorite console. Guardian Heroes... Shiny Force 3, Panzer Dragoon Saga, Panzer Dragoon Saga, oh, oh, oh. oh. game 
game is so good. Oh. So many great memories. Nights into dreams. Oh. Nights into dreams. Do you like your left thumb? It's gonna fall off after playing Nights into Dreams. First off, Saturn's best console? Unsub, secondly. <laughs> yeah, if I had to pick a best console, it's obviously the Dreamcast. Um, but the, uh, I will say the Sega Saturn is the one that I am most fond of emotionally. Come on, the Dreamcast? Soul Calibur? Ooh. Alright, well, I'm gonna stop doing this shit. I'm gonna play this game. I'll make my way towards the king's chambers. Whoa. All right, so I'm gonna go here. Boop, 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 boop. And then we're gonna wait there. Uh. I have been thinking about things for a whole turn, and I've decided Mercia a long time ago. Before Cherry Stone was Cherry Stone. Mm -hmm. No, no. Here I come, my ears are enormous. This, I mean, Sigurd is very Despy-like. Can we agree to that? This is laughably easy. Oh yeah, I gotta click on her. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attack this from the side. How foolish. <laughs> Dude, I'm destroying shit. After thinking about it for two turns, there was once a kingdom called Cacophony, and a war known as the Great Dissonance. Turn four, walk some more. <sighs> this knowledge is too great a burden! Oh, mercy! Hmm, hmm, this castle is vast, but it's a good thing that I see from an, a third bird's eye view. If I access the overview screen, I can get a glimpse <laughs> of its true extent. I just need to select an unoccupied tile and pick overview. Oh, that's darling. Oh my god, oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, look at the little map. Hmm. So many humans, how unpleasant still. I can avoid most of them. As my objective says, I'm here for the king. I can close this now and return to my task. I, lo I love the diegetic breaks where they're just like, if I hit the close overview button, then I can return back to my typical top-down view. <laughs> Time to defeat a few more hapless guards and make my way to the king's chamber. Can I just say, I really like top-down. I really like top-down a lot. Isometric I'm a fan of, but I really, really like Top Down. Like the old the Grand Theft Auto 1 graphics, man. You yeah, were gonna attack you in the face. Merciful. How foolish. Goodbye. That's stereo audio, man. Yeah, the old the, the original Grand Theft Auto. My little blue man. My darling bluebird, I need to tell you something. <laughs> Digital Mitt says, die who's it breaks? So th there is a great word. If you've ever, if you know anyone in media studies, this is a word that they're forced to write in at least one essay a week, okay? It's diegetic. Diegetic is something that is going on in the medium that other people, or excuse me, uh, um, something is going on in the work that people in the work are aware of. So as a really simple example, if there is someone who walks into a diner and it's playing a song on the radio, that's diegetic music. Because the person who's there can hear the music. Contrast this with if there's a fight scene and they're playing some, you know, dramatic violin music and whatever. None of the characters in the world are able to hear that violin music. It's non-diegetic music. That's that's an audience-facing thing. That's not a character-facing thing. 
so the, the so I'm I'm noting that I find it humorous when characters are acknowledging things that they're not supposed to have awareness of. You know, like just hit the close overview button so we can get back to battle. Like, no, you're not you're not supposed to know that. You know, it it would be the equivalent of if of if in the Avengers when there's big fights happening and like there's music playing, the characters are like, can someone turn that music down? And then the music goes down. I assume I'm Darling Bluebird. It's a very long story about something that happened a very long time ago. Turn seven. Attack, attack, and hit him in the back. Are you afraid? Woo! AWS put out a Twitch extension challenge for the end of February. Any ideas what an extension that should exist? The reader challenge? Yeah. I know one. Total secret. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to put an alarm on my phone to remind me to. Look at this. Alright, let's open it up. Oosh. Go on personal messages. Go to this. Holy crap, I have a lot of messages. Holy god. Oh my god. Oh. Alright. <sighs> By the way, I'm I'm playing through this game at a calm ass pace. Calm ass pace. Why would I do anything except play through it at a nice, relaxing pace? I should sit up, man. Chill ass day, calm ass pace with my calm ass face. Not gonna be some calm ass disgrace. <laughs> at last! You? How, how did. What? What? <laughs> Humans are so frail. <laughs> what? Do you understand what you've just done? You'll start a war! War? The inane squabble of children. Where is the key? Safe hands. You'll never find it. The key is in safe hands. Far from the grasp of a monster like you. <laughs> <laughs> safe hands? Before you die, understand this. Nothing is safe from me. Remember, the traditional uh, anime-inspired evil female character also is trying to seduce 100% of people with 100% of sentences. So as long as you put a little edge of, you want to fuck? That's how you do it, right? Safe hands. Before you die, understand this. Nothing is safe from me. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, man. You're making a mistake. Hush now. Still, the key eludes me. No matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. I can feel it. <laughs> Victoire. Results. Total turns. Units defeated. Units lost. Stars earned. S. Remember the rating scale in Japanese games. C. B. A. S. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, sure. I love setting alarms for myself. All right. Um, what's what's Americ's character, huh? What's Americ's character? We gotta sort this puppy out. Oh, by the way, uh, while we're sorting out what Americ and the princess's characters are, please let me know how we're supposed to be voice uh, acting this. <laughs> yeah, S for so sick. You, nervous bird, physicist. You guys are so great. Um. And when I say what character, I don't mean like name. Like he's he's Bob Marley. Like no, like who like who who. What is the identity, the personality of it, you know? Um, uh, so, uh, I just want to note that 
not tomorrow, uh, the 2nd, but next Saturday, the 9th, and Sunday the 10th is the Day Night Festival. What the fuck is a festival? It is essentially creating the feeling of a fun LAN party all online centered on our Discord. That's discord.gg slash day9tv. If you go to my Twitch, you look below, there's a big Discord button, and you click it using the power of your left finger. Or right finger, depending. Um, so... Yeah, so the idea again is to create that fun LAN party environment centered on the Discord. So what does that mean? We're going to have a whole bunch of activities ranging from Dungeons and Dragons campaigns, people doing pickup groups for their favorite multiplayer games. I'd even encourage you to use our bot, the Looking for Game bot, to post impromptu pickup events, such as I want to try to have a four-player Heroes of Might and Magic 3 game. Anyone else interested in playing? You can find those people. We have all the chat channels dynamically uh, created and scaling, again, thanks to the wonderful bots program by Woody Adrian. So that we can get your own little chat channel, hangout chat there. It's broken into two days. The second day is the community day, where a lot of those events that are scheduled are happening. I believe there's also a Magic the Gathering tournament. I don't even know why I'm not bringing up the web page. Here's day9.tv. See how it says day night festival or see how it says day night festival? You can literally click upon it and it brings you to all the things that are happening like on the community day Dungeons and Dragons campaigns. I believe that these signups might have closed recently but we're having a Magic the Gathering Arena constructed tournament. There's a draft uh, tournament for Artifact. There's some groups for Diablo 3 and Warframe and so on and so forth. Um, that's going to be happening on the second day Sunday. On the first day the 9th that's Saturday also, tons of pickup games and events going on. I'll also be streaming. I will be streaming from 10 to 6. Before that stream at 9 a.m., Morniel goes live with a DJ set. Morniel passes it to me. At 6 p.m., I pass it to Jolteon, who closes out, as is the case in the past. Having two different days, so that way we can wind up with uh, people who want to watch the stream can still watch all the stream. People who want to do the community events can still do all the community events. And, of course... In that stream day, we are doing 100-person in-house PUBG matches. I'm also going to be playing a little Overwatch. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of uh, Dota 2. It's going to be great. Drunk Terrence says, Armello tournament incoming. I will settle it. I'm, I'll be setting it up tonight if I can. That's fantastic, Drunk Terrence. You can go to our Discord, start setting it up there. All right, Americ. Who the heck is Americ? All right. I'm thinking about goody two-shoes, huh? I'm thinking about goody two-shoes. Well done, princess. Your skill with the cherry blade improves yet <laughs> further. Thank you. I don't know. We'll figure her out later. Woof. I know the dog. I know the dog. Caesar? Caesar is a good boy. Woof. It's all right, Caesar. It's just one of the royal guard. Lord Emmerich! Hmm? Is it important? You disturb the princess's lessons. The king, my lord, the king's been killed! What? What? No! No, father. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Merci, I'm so sorry. Mamma mia. Uh, who, uh, who, who did, who did this? Sir, the, the assailant appears to have been a v, 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 which appears to have been a vampire. The Felheim Legion. Princess, Mercia, the murder of your father is an act of war. We must defend the kingdom. Or we're at war. I think I found the voice. I think I found the character. I could do all... I could do the sound effects and the voice effects for this game. The voice effects? The voice. I don't think there's such a thing as a voice effect. <laughs> VFX. Congratulations, you've unlocked additional lore about Emmerich. Awesome! Okay, sometimes I'm charmed when a game has a close the damn dialogue button that is a phrase. Like, great, awesome, nifty, thrilled to hear it. That's fine. When Skype that updated and does not give me a way to close its damn program and has overwritten all my settings and no longer detects my microphone and no longer detects any of my webcams and I can't use it anymore 
invades me with a pop-up that's like, let's take a tour of the new Skype. And there is a button that says, okay, let's go. And there's no other button. Are we fucking kidding me? I've uninstalled Skype. It's not even on this computer anymore. Again, grabbed it like a piece of celery and I, yes. And then I found some of that white dip and I dipped in there. Ah, and I ate it. So good. Dip it in there. Ah, eat it. I don't know what the white dip is. It's 2019, I don't know how my food comes to me and uh, what it's made of. I have no clue. Mm -hmm. Ranch sauce, that's the name of it, thanks. French onion? French onion ranch? I don't know. I don't really know the difference between French onion and, and uh, ranch. I have no idea. And blue cheese and mayonnaise and milk. I can't tell the difference between any of those. Like all the white... Uh, more viscous substances, who knows? Who knows? Queso Blanco? You're totally right, Jenny. I have no idea. I don't know what Queso Blanco is compared to ranch, compared to any of that. Alright, I think that because the entire screen panned down to this, and there's a village, I should go here. The Breach. An unsure Mercia faces her first test as Monarch of Cherry Stone. Several months later. My queen. My queen. Congratulations on your coronation, Queen Mercia. Emmerich, do you really think I'm ready to be a I queen? I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Should I actually use the Emmerich voice? Like, I don't know, maybe I should use the Emmerich voice. You are your father's daughter. Mm. I hope you're right. Ha! Ha! Your Majesty, Philheim scouts have reached the border. What? They're here in Cherry Stone. Yeah, you know, so basically I'm just going to take whatever uh, snippet voice is in the game and base my voice on that, with the exception of Mercia, who I really feel like I've found the voice for. <laughs> uh, dot, dot, Let's dot. Go. I can do this. <laughs> I know you can. My voice is going to hurt at the end of this thing. Ah, ah, ah. Wait, your majesty, your crown! <laughs> Turn one. <laughs> hmm? These scouts of warriors are Felheim troops. We must defeat them to secure this region. We should begin by attacking the closest red swords with a unit of swordsmen. Right, let's get this over with and done. All right, so I see. So, Mercia is not one of our units. Oh, to the forest to attack the dread sword. Oh, no, I fucking I hear you, dude. Okay, so I'm moving around and I'm noticing that there's different symbols. See in the see right here above the palm. Is you see right here? Oh, there's like four little uh, black dots. Now there's one little black dot. And then on the path, there's... Il n'y a pas de... I don't remember the word for black or the word for dot in French, but whatever. And this is this is three dots. Attack. Okay, so this, it looks like 54% chance of hurt that way. Ah, uh, yeah, chien wow. Hey, hey! Wicky wax, smickety smack. So, are the percents the total number of damage? Uh, total percent of damage of their health? Hmm. Notice the numbers that have appeared next to the two battling units? I have Chief Grumblebeard. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little number next to each of them. Mm, these represent the unit's health. They appear when it drops below 95%. That's such a good touch. This is, I think, one of the greatest um, pieces of subtle tech in StarCraft 2. That it only shows health bars of damaged units. Damage is, is a thing. Because if you just keep all the health bars on, it reminds me a lot of a, a fast-moving Excel spreadsheet. Five in case the Dread Sword's mm. down around 50%. Okay. And my sword is down. Very well. Let's attack Dread Sword with our second swordsman. Clickety-click. Clackety-clack. Attack this swordsman in his motherfucking back. Okay, so I'm understanding that if I one-shot someone, they're gone, right? They go poof. 
Let's look at your target damage preview will appear above its head. The damage preview indicates what damage will be dealt by both units during combat. Sounds handy! I love damage combat numbers! You see, the health of a unit suggests more than how close it is to defeat. The more damage the unit takes, the weaker its attack power becomes. Oh my god. That's so snowball-y. It is a good day to snowball it up. Into this ear. Into this ear. Copy that. So a healthy unit is a stronger unit, indeed, but it looks like your swordsman will do just fine here. So it looks like the attacker attacks first. Wickety whack, crickety crack. I crack those skeletons with a sturdy firm whack. <laughs> sturdy firm whack, what? day nine TV. More than dead? Can I can I be the undead? I love the undead. <clears throat> Seems like they're not giving up quite yet. Says, why is there that separation on the battle screen? It's very off-putting and seems unnecessary. You're telling me, man. Look, it seems like we've been provided with a new unit type, Pikeman. This might be a good time for you to learn uh, about critical hits. Oh, uh, no. Yes. Yes, all units have conditions under which their attacks are stronger. We call these attacks critical hits. I've never heard of those. Do not worry, my queen. This information is easy to find. Let me show you how to find this information about units crit. Clickety clack, right click. Yeah, no, leave me alone. Oh. My God. Uh oh. I'm sorry, critical hits are so boring. All right, it appears that this spear is made out of some very flexible material. All right, slower, more powerful inventory. Critical hit when adjacent to another spearman. Now, what's adjacency? Is adjacency diagonals? Is adjacency... orthogonals? What is it? All right. La Défense. Only four cardinals? Fuck. All right. So he's got a foot, a horseshoe, a wheel, a feather, and a, a fin. I don't know what any of this is. It's great. Very useful information. This part gives us a good overview. Hmm, the pikeman crits when adjacent. You can bring up the info screen in any unit trainer structure. Use it often. You'll learn a lot. Make sure to check it when you're ready. You can close this window. What happens if I code exit? Ah! 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 Okay. Uh, I think, though, I have to understand the most about the dog. Alright, I found a bug. Didn't load. There we go. A magnificent and majestic canine, Caesar leads armies with wordless dignity. His mere presence is enough to inspire and guide troops through battle. Ugh. Could this game please give me a microtransaction to unlock the lore through a randomized process? Like a loot box? I mean, please. It's what I want. Before you get real mad, I just lied. I lied to you. I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like that. Isn't that weird that I sometimes say things that I find funny on a show that whose premise is my entertainment for an audience of people? I sometimes do that. But just to be clear, I would absolutely just pour the coffee into my eyes. Uh, okay, so Spearman. Now this effect and vulnerable, this is interesting. Like I'm seeing repeated shapes. These guys are effective and vulnerable against everything. Very well. We should make sure that the pikemen stick together. Got it! Yeah, I'm gonna go here! I'm gonna wait! Woohoo! We've lined up our first pikemen. Oh, pikemen! 
time to line them up! Let's attack the Dread Sword with our second Pikeman. Alright. Let's attack. Let's attack the Skelehorn. Let me draw your attention to the damage. Oh my god. No, no, no. His name is called a Hornbone. That's a Hornbone. Oh, the arrow is flashing. Well spotted. A flashing arrow in the damage preview is a good sign. It indicates that you're about to land a critical hit. Why is there this divide here? Can someone explain to me why the divide is there? Thanks to the placement yeah. of the first pike. Yeah, the second pikeman dealt a critical <laughs> hit. Haha, <laughs> she learned so fast, it's hilarious! Keeping your pikemen together will ensure stronger offense. For different terrain or ranged weapons. Ah, there it is, character crisis. Yeah, that makes sense, but that's... weird. When encountering a new unitype, it's important to learn about their crit. I'll leave you to defeat Thank the rest you. of the troops. Thank you, Mark. I did. I can defy you. Keep defeat. All right, so I have Uno Defense. So if I like step here and attack this guy, hey hey, hey hey, wink wank, slushy dushy bushy bang wing bang. Hey, hey! Blim, oh, turn into ghost. Ah, I see. Turn three. Alright, so what I should do is I should move this guy over here and wait. And move this one over here and attack this. Guess what? All right, Bone Hats just got slayed down. <laughs> That's the last of them, isn't that hilarious? Ah, yes, the undead don't have souls, so it's fun to murder them. <laughs> well done, my queen. <laughs> we did it. Mm -hmm. A good start, but Velheim won't stop there. We must remain vigilant. <laughs> They'll be back. Yes. Yes, and in greater numbers. Uh. A whole horde of skeletons. Indeed, and much else. Besides, I'd forgotten you had so little experience with the undead. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> uh, Cherry Stone is normally so peaceful. I've never seen them here before. But now they're coming, and they won't stop. An undead army dot dot dot. All undead but one. We've spoken in your lessons of their leader, Valdar. Mm hmm? A living man to end? Yeah. Yeah, and a necromancer of great power. I haven't forgotten. I'm actually going to do the higher pitch voice for Marisia because my throat's actually starting to get a little tired. Well, we should make a move. The undead are likely to be advancing upon other parts of the kingdom. Uh... Merrick, do you think Valdar will come to Cherrystone himself? Yes, yes, your majesty, I do. <laughs> I have a very kind of ancient vocal fry. What's the dog's voice? Woof, bark, I'm a dog. Oh, oh your majesty, way uh... <laughs> Victoire! Results. Three, four, nothing, stars! Yes! Congratulations, you've earned a lore loot box. Awesome. The Felheim invasion begins in earnest. Ah! 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 Oh no, bone helms, bone horns. Wow. Looked a lot like dating in middle school, didn't it? And there's this group of you and your friends, but no one's dating us. The kingdom's overrun with Felheim soldiers. Uh, we have to do something. Well, we will hold the land. What? That's not what's written. 
We will hold what land we can. Hmm. hmm. Maybe if we... Not so fast! Huh? Who are you? <laughs> I'm the person that's going fast! Fast and pull for you! I gotta lean away from the microphone because I like don't wanna I don't wanna blow people's ears up. Call me Ragna! Call me Ragna! Uh, uh alright. Dot dot dot! Fight me! Fuck out! Yeah. All right, bone versus house, and the bones managed to find the hole. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Oh God, <laughs> that's so stick fast. Ah, it's exactly, it's exactly my my box of humor. That's like what is funny to me. Do you see that? Felheim horror has just captured a village to the west. They'll attempt to claim the neutral village to the east next unless we stop them. Then let's stop them. Yes. Okay. Yes. Look, the cherry stone, a cherry stone ranger is here to help us. A cherry stone ranger kind of sounds like a candy, doesn't it? Do you like Starburst? No, I like cherry stone rangers. Oh, cherry stone rangers are very tasty. You know what's interesting? Those are two sentences about candy that no one's ever, ever said. These are new sentences, okay? No one's ever gone, oh, you like Starburst? I prefer Mentos. I find them tasty. All right, I guess this is what happens when you work in public-facing PR marketing type situations. Rangers units can attack enemies from a distance. Let's move into a position from where they can attack. Approaching undead. Sounds good. Click. Clock. Wait. From this position, our ranger can attack any enemies well. approaching from the west. Very well. When you want to end your turn, select an unoccupied map tile and select end turn. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm sorry, I find end turn menus that appear uh, boring. That's why I'm yawning so much. I'm a sleeper guy, man. Turno dos. All right, Princess Tooth Smile. Mm -hmm. Are you remembering to check the unit info screen to learn about critical hits? Yes, Dad. Yeah! You know Rangers crit if they attack without moving. Ah. No, I want to open the menu. Don't you, don't you keep popping. Don't you fucking pop up one more time. I swear to God, I'm going to close you. All right, I guess I'll click on this. Now we need to select a tile from which to perform the attack. But since we don't want the archer to move, we simply select the same tile again. 101! Ding, dang, bong, blong. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. <clears throat> We may have defeated those soldiers, but it's not over yet. The enemy owns a barracks. This will enable them to recruit new units. Ooh, yeah. Fortunately, we have access to a barracks of our own. We should select it to recruit a new unit at once. Okay, I'm on it. Right. Okay, this is cool. Ah, I found macro. Okay. Basic infantry. Useful for capturing structures. Critical hit when adjacent to its commander. Ah. Vulnerable to everyone? What a bunch of shitters. Swordsmen, pikemen, and rangers. That's right, but due to our broke ass, we can only afford the cheapest. I can only afford an iPhone 5. Single iPhone 5 can make a big difference. Let's wait in line all night for one now. Oh my gosh, look at the amount of dough required for a ranger. Good lord. Oh. 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 
Note that each barracks can only recruit a single unit per turn. Oh my god, fuck yeah. When was this released? Uh, Gautelo, this was released on Wednesday? Tuesday? Thursday? Today? It was released today? Oh, it was released today! Wow, I, got, I sure got lucky. <laughs> it was released this morning. Woo! Because I, I saw the reviews and was like, yeah, I'm going to play that on Friday. And uh, now it's Friday. You know when it came out? It came out now. It was like, now, like, now, like, right now. All right. First Travis, is out of curiosity, is stream sponsored? It is not. I'm just playing it. I think, I think Chucklefish folk are here. Hi. Hi, hi, Chuckle folk. Hi, people fish. Chucklefish. Chucklefishies. That's interesting, because if your company name is Chucklefish, then the employees are also called Chucklefish. Isn't that right? Chuckle folk? Ah, you're right, Character Crisis. Chuckle folk is the correct name. The Chuckle folks. The Chuckle peeps. The Chucklers. <laughs> the Chortling Sea Dwellers. The Guffawing Fin Havers. All right. Right, I'll be sure to remember that. Look at the, I mean. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, God. Okay, we sneeze coming, hold on. <coughs> oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that was like a sneeze that I felt all the way in my foot. Like, I was like, achoo. And then just like a ripple tinge, like went down. My little foot was like, ugh. Like I sneezed, man. I capital Z sneezed. All right. Select your new swordsman and order it to move and capture the village. Click, click, and cap. Where's the hall? Everybody now. And a flag appears. <laughs> Excellent work, my queen. Villagers bring in 100 go- oh. oh my god. There's- there's expansions and there's macroing. All you have to do is sh is shove four swordsmen into the hole, and then you're making money every turn. Oh my god, Meltor Fast. Meltor Fast just got automated timeout by the bot. Nightbot apologizes. Did I play Advanced Wars? No. Right, because Margot needs to get us. Correct. In fact, we can cripple the enemy's income by taking their village yes. to the west. Yes, Captain Village is owned by a different faction which first mm. defeated. Then I'll recruit more units straight away in order to the village. Click. Pikemen? Oh my god. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Useful for capturing structures. Why? Relying Pikemen's powerful for this job. Alright, we're good then, yeah. What's captures? Oh, th these are the abilities. So captures is just the name of it. All right, recruit. All right, it's time to poop out some pikemen. And so we're gonna also like do this to get closer. Enforcements to the north? Oh, Jesus. They'll no doubt be heading towards your northern villages. I should have known they wouldn't make this easy for us. I suggest you don't leave the northern path unattended. I'll make sure to leave the unit. Neutralize all enemy struck towers. Okay, so I'm going to right click on this dude. Move four effective against. I don't even know what the shit this is. <clears throat> I mean, so these are soldiers, right? Hello. 350? Holy shit. Income is 100. 100. Okay. 
So, I think, like... One, two... So, when this says move four, one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two... One, two, three, four. All right, so we can enter into here. So let me move this guy to here. You wait there. One, two, three, four. So if I move this guy to here and tell you to wait, and then I'm gonna pike him in the shit out of everything. Pooping him out. And this guy can't move this turn. Ah. Ah, that's why it's so inky. Okay, so this is, it's bad. They'll drown. They'll drown there. But I'm gonna leave this guy here. Alright. Oh my god, this, this game is so sick. That's right. Alright, you wait here. This guy's gonna... Can they not... Okay, they can. They can go right through. Okay, perfect. Hey, hey! hey, hey! Bling, bling, blow. How you like me now? We shoot at her. Oh, I see. So you can't actually go back. Uh-oh. What's the range on this? Three? So this is one, two, three. One, two, three, four... So we gotta wait here, right? Dude, I love these rangers idle animations. It's just, mm. It is me, Undulation Man. The logo's over the small commander info panel in the upper right. Yeah, I know, it's sad. But if I, if I, like, move around enough, it moves around as well. Well, it used to move, but whatever. She has her eyes covered. She's a, she's a secret agent, okay. Blinky, blanky, winky, wonky. Oh god, my rangers are gonna get attacked, aren't they? Wait. So if I... Yeah, I don't... I don't give a damn. Right. Hey, hey! Hey, brother, this game is 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 20 dollars. 20. 2 0. The big 2 naught. What is. What is. Why is it so brown here? Why is it so brown? That really is, I feel like, the philosophical question underlying a lot of my life. Like, why, why is it so brown? Like, why? Why is it so brown? Yeah, and also, this game, does it have multiplayer? Yes. It has multiplayer, it has a map editor, and it has your pal Day9. He said arrogantly. Oh, maybe the brown sling critical hits? Ah, yes, very well. Uh oh. Stibbity stabbity. Bring it on. Good job, and see you later, alligators. So I should move this here to help my buddy attack this dude. Got him. Gotcha. Gotcha, Gee. Went adjacent to another spearman. So this guy can move one, two, three, four. 
Okay, so this guy, you are gonna go here, and you're gonna attack this from below. And then I'm gonna recruit some Poikmen. Oh, wait. Oh, you already moved. All right, so we're gonna buy some pikemen. We're gonna we're gonna plop them out here. We're then gonna move this. I think I'm gonna move this guy here because I don't I don't want to encounter that this douchebag. I'm coming in. Knock knock. Who's there? What? What? <laughs> Excellent, you've cleared the enemy from the village. Oh, I gotta loosen the back. My chair. Should capture to cure before Ragni takes it. Got it! What? That's the order? In you go. Where did the pair go? Oh, in the hole! <laughs> ah. Oh, that says no. No, 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 no. I've been around the English alphabet for a long time. This is the letter M as in Mary, as in may we please identify the letter M correctly. It's Moo. That's Moo. She's a cow. Well done, with no villagers, the enemy is broke as shit. <laughs> You'll notice that the captured structure never begins with full health. In fact, it starts with the equivalent of half the capturing unit's health. Oh, so you have 40% captures, it starts at 20%. Yes, now we should destroy their barracks to completely yeah. remove them from the region. Yeah, alright. Yeah. Wait. 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 Spending all this money. What the heck is reinforced? healed something and I don't know how, why, or for what reason. Alright. Oh, so fucking embarrassing. Oh my god. Alright, so it looks like the town... Took a little town juice. Okay, here's a question. Can I move a dude? Make him wait, and then select a different dude and have them move into the place. And then attack. No, you, you actually have to attack in one fell swoop. Very well, I'll... Wickety whack with my a tickety attack. Are we are we serious with this shit? Come on. 
think the controls might be easier with the controller. Yeah, it actually looks like it. You dare summon me. Attack! Hey! Hey, hey! 83, just sub for 23. Good to see ye. Oh, oh, so I gotta go here, and I gotta wait here, and then I gotta take you, and I'm bring you there, and I gotta attack like this. It's time for that sweet crit. Oh, hey! Elter Foss says, does anyone know if this game can be set to a custom resolution in window? The only options are Phil's entire screen and tiny. Yeah, I've kind of noticed that. I'm playing full screen. Well, my preference is typically to play games window. Can the town fight me? Alright, time to do pikeman cycling. Crickety crack. Micro. Oh, dude, I gotta say, like, this is, there's this no! principle. No, this is not, oh, good work. Chatter, chatter, wiggle bones. Okay, there, there's this thing that I, I, okay, so here's the general idea. So if you guys are unfamiliar with the peak end principle, um, the idea of the peak end principle is that people typically evaluate uh, a experience they have by what the peak emotional experience they had during it was and what the experience and what their emotional state was at the end. So, for instance, if you have something that is, we'll say, a 5 out of 10, but has some spikes to 10 out of 10 awesomeness in there, uh, people will typically evaluate that much more highly than something that is an even 6 or 7 out of 10 for the entire time. Um, and, you know, so, so some of the implementations of this are when there's a climactic moment, end and get out. Uh, you know, in competitive games, the idea of something like um, you get your team wiped in League of Legends, you should either very quickly lose the entire game or you should make sure there's a lot of buffer time after that to give you an opportunity for, for a comeback. You know what I mean? Like... Um, the bad, the bad thing to happen in multiplayer games is like, we've won, but now the game has to go on for 20 more minutes. And I just have to sit here and suffer and make, it just, it just feels like shit. And then, then I lose. That's, that's typically like the worst thing that you want to avoid. So, um, often in, um, I have seen tactics games. Uh, <laughs> Virtual Ham is so good. It says that explanation was pretty mediocre, but had some really incredible examples. Overall, I give it an eight out of ten. <laughs> Anyways, um, um, so I, I I've seen instances where tactics type games try to have focus for peak moments. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. There should be like peak moments. Fuck, what the fuck was I talking about? I was just watching I'm the Shaz get banned as Ghost Stalker is testing out the new mod tools. <laughs> it's so funny. There's new mod tools, by the way. So one of our longtime viewers, one of our longtime moderators, is just like going back and forth banning each other. <laughs> just trying to figure out how the tools work. Anyways, um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. I've seen Tactics Games try to do this thing where they make sure there's a couple spiky moments and then the game quickly wraps up. However, I actually love in these tactics games when you're battling and there's a really key moment and you crush them and then there's 10 minutes of power tripping and smashing the shit out of increasingly smaller forces i love that i love that oh yes 
the world's crazy, and I might feel disempowered, but boy, howdy, man, I'm playing a tactics game. I got 80 dudes. He's got four dudes. I'm like, run, little motherfucker. Yes, try to run. Oh, oh, you're going to hide in the trees, are you, Mr. Skeleton? Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, I had to pay taxes, and it was an obnoxious process. Do you think I want challenge start to finish in my games? No, 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 no. I want a little challenge here, a little challenge there. And then I want to take a shit on a scared little skeleton hiding in the woods. <gasps> yes! Oh my god. Do you remember when I was playing Heroes of Might Magic 2 and there was a mission where I won in the first, like, 45 minutes, but it took, like, three or four hours to wrap up? Still one of my favorite on-air experiences of all time. Just like, I'm going to run here and I'm going to capture this castle. Oh, he's going to recapture it because I forgot to put any troops there. But I'll just recapture it and kill him. <gasps> oh, look, he had to rebuy. Oh, yes. All right. Chatter, chatter. Chicken dadder. <gasps> Go away! Chatter, chatter. Ah, <sighs> ah, uh, 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 uh. Is that, is that the way it works when there is voice auditions for an anime? They just enter a room and they ask them to go through the same things. Like, all right, can you hit me with a surprise? Uh -uh. Can you hit me with a very brief muted, brief muted shock? Uh -uh. You know, like... Rhetorical Meowth is now as a goat. <laughs> uh, all right. Huh. Huh, what are... Where's I going? Oh, it's you! Yeah. 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 I really wish... Okay, anyone else drive long road trips, particularly in California, where the... I just completed the transaction noise is the same noise as when Sonic the Hedgehog picks up a, a ring. Do you know what I'm talking about? The Sonic the Hedgehog, I just got a ring, plays in the gas stations. Am I the only one? Astro Monkey says, yes. Ven Faith, yes, as I've heard it. Yes, thank you. Sanic. Right? I wish that was replaced by that, yeah. Yeah? Uh, uh, um, I didn't mean to disturb you. Yeah. Ugh, you didn't disturb me! I was lying in wait! Huh, uh, uh, right. Shut up! Uh. Uh. I have my window open, I gotta be careful. Why is it not an S? An A? Uh, 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 nani? Like what? You needed to kill the last skeleton. Oh my god. A is for average. Oh my god. You unlocked Felheim in the Codex. Yeah, no, all menu things we're going to read is like your traditional, I've been working in esports for one year, and and I talk in an exaggerated kind of way and laugh at jokes that aren't funny. <laughs> Congratulations, you unlocked Felheim in the Codex. Worst enemies forever. Unhappy with her defeat... Ragna decides to take matters into her own hands. Play mission. Whatever! Whatever! So you want to win? Yes! Ugh. All you do is beat up a few lousy, stinking skeletons! I won't hold back! I care, and I won't stop until my kingdom is safe. Wakanda forever! Grr, bow wow, woof. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll crush you! I'm not gonna repeat what she said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Ragna has moved deep into this region. She's even got a stronghold. This is such good content. Holy shit. I don't know. I'm on fire today, man. I slept well. I drank coffee. I did my, my cankle ball swings. <laughs> they're kettle, they're kettle, they're kettlebell, kettle, kettlebell swings. But I always call them cankle ball swings. You can, you can hear that it's difficult for me to say kettlebell easily. So say cankle ball swings. Um, slept well, caffeinated well, ate healthy food, did my cankle ball swings. So yeah, now we're on fire today. It feels good. A stronghold is a really important structure that anchors a faction to a region. Uh, okay. okay. Romanian deadlifts is cabbage. Cabbage MW just types at day nine TV. Romanian deadlifts. It's like no context. <laughs> like, you know what? Let me type right back to you. I'm gonna do it in the same way. Metric system as a question. Yeah. How do, does that help you? Do you understand what I'm trying to communicate by going? Metric system? D well, I just unplug my headphones, don't I? Look dumb. Alright, get this plugged in. <laughs> Astrofunky says, <"Re> <laughs> Cabbage MW says, Kettlebell exercise with an exclamation mark. <laughs> Stronghold? Nani? That's what they should say in the anime. That's what they should say. When they're surprised, they should be like, Ah, uh, ah, uh, Romanian deadlifts? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Alright, it's really important. To win, we can either defeat the stronghold or Ragna herself. There's Ragna Swagna. I understand I'm joining this fight personally. Look over there. One of the knights has beaten us there. Knights are strong, fast-moving units. Proud units. However, they're unable to capture structures. Only infantry and commanders can fit into the hole. Knights sound great! Let's get started! Hold your horses, and I mean that metaphorically because there's an actual horse on the screen, and sometimes I speak narratively, other times I'm referring to literal elements on your game screen. Uh. Oh, is there something we can do to help? Mm -hmm. Indeed there is, is where reinforcement comes into play. Simply move a wounded unit next to one of your structures and select reinforce. Yeah. Yeah. Sadly, structures are unable to regain health through reinforcement. However, their health will gradually be restored by simply sitting there, regenerating like a bone. All structures regain one tick a turn all commanders regain five. Click. Clock. Can I not reinforce? Are we serious? I have student loans to pay. Like, are we crazy? 360? Well, all right. <laughs> Excellent. Our knights back to full health. Yes. Yes. Although it's important to note that reinforcing has its drawbacks. First, reinforcing a unit costs an amount of gold proportional to the unit's value. I will now put up an equation as gameplay has always been proven to cut in half in quality every time an equation is displayed on screen. And second, the health restored to the unit is taken from the health of a structure. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, that's what happens when I'm sick. If I'm feeling at about 40% of my health, I simply suck 60% of a Wendy's out into my body and leave that crumbling ruin to heal on its own over the next week. Got it. Reinforcement costs gold and transfers health from the structure. I've never been so happy to learn about war. Listen, I've been reading so much Warhammer 40k lore that when I see this, I'm just imagining, like, we have to keep up a Geller field or we'll be torn apart into entities of pure emotion. <laughs> <laughs> like, she's way too cheery, man. Okay, I should start by taking control of the barracks. Yeehaw. Okay, can you capture? Here, let me get info about you. The heroic queen of Cherry Stone. That's us, everyone. Fights for her people with the mighty Cherry Blade.
Uh, move, commander captures. Not a lot of defense. Effective against everyone, everything. Stone roads that speed along big wooden wheels, but I'll forget. Oh, oh, I see the description of the train. Ah, got it, got it. I'm totally, I'm like a with it person. Capture this. Yeah. We could choose this. We could choose this. In she dives and out comes. There was a man hiding in your pocket. Wait, milady. Oh, bones in the hole. By the way, uh, if commanders, you and Ragnar are both powerful units on the battlefield. I'm not going to hit the next go button. I wanted to ask, um, my understanding is like today or no? Today's the 1st of February on Monday. Monday, 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 Monday. Monday. You should be able to switch your sub badge to the total cumulative number of months subscribed as opposed to what your current subscriber streak is. Because I see Grim McDunkle, who's been here for a long time. Grim McDunkle is listed as a new resub, but Grim McDunkle's been here a while. Uh, and thank you for the, for the clip and Grim McDunkle. It should adjust on Monday. Oh, you can easily take down most infantry units and enemy structures single-handedly. Make most of your strength as a commander without risking your neck. Remember, the team that loses their commander also let you down. Battle. Okay, I hope they don't die. Man. Destroy the enemy stronghold or defeat Ragnar. You got it. Okay, so this is a village. This is a, a barracks. So if I... Oops, cancel. Whoa, these are strong. Wow. Oh, move six? Oh my god, look at how much hoof power this guy has. <laughs> Cars are measured in horsepower. Horses are measured in hoof power. Hoofs are measured in, uh, I think, kilograms? Alright. Give me that money, baby! We could use this. Ziffnab says, I really like the critical strikes are conditionals and not a chance. Yeah. I really like a lot of indie strategy type stuff that's been going on lately, where there's this idea of presenting you with a huge amount of information and trying to set up combinations of triggers and interactions to proc off each other, as opposed to, um, oh yeah, which, which and the skill is tracking everything, because there's so much stuff to track. I really like that in games like this, it's just, again, complete knowledge, but there's just so much going on, so much to think about. As opposed to just, like, the random, you know, nonsense sort of thing. Trump says, high energy day nine today. You know, there, there's a technique, there's an actual technique that I am deploying today that um, I, I, I was realizing I just have not done in a while. Which is, I'm just, I'm not playing the game right now. I'm play, I play some, and then I'm, like, actually focusing on talking. Especially with magic, I've been so engrossed and absorbed in just playing, chain clicking, go, 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 that I don't have the opportunity to talk as much because my focus is here. Like, right now, this game is not doing anything yet. Uh, so. Okay, so she's running back. Okay, so I'm going to take this guy and go forward. Uh, and I guess I'll hire... So we are getting... Is there a, a way to show how much gold I'm getting entirely? Other than going one, two, three, so it's three hundred. Yeah, all the preaching. I'll plan on doubling down on these dudes. I see, there's our income. All right. So what are you effective against? All right, is effective against bone helms. One, two, three, four. I can go maximum, yeah. Clip the clock, clip the clock, clip the clock, clip the clock.
Chaos says, I like that it encourages you to be aggressive, whereas Fire Emblem uh, is more encouraging of defensive gameplay. Oh yeah, it's the same thing. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess I'm a little confused as to why it would not be ideal for me to just literally sit here and accumulate wealth. Right, I'm getting more money a turn. I can make better units a turn, right? This table tells us which units we are usually... Oh no, it says they're effective against the cavalry. Yes, yeah, Spearman will do extra damage against units such as our knight. Go ahead and close the window when you're ready. I mean, this this is this is the RTS issue, right? If I am currently accumulating more resources, why would I ever want to go out and attack you? Why? It is strictly better for me in many circumstances in an RTS game to just sit passively. Should make sure not to put our knight in any unnecessary danger. This would be a good time to check the enemy's hmm. movement range. How do I do that? Let me show you. Left click. Oh. Good thinking, my queen. Good thinking, you filthy animal. Alright, I'm going in here, and I'm going to attack. I'm going to get a low rank, and no one will think you're cool. That is that is true, Vokasat. And looking cool is important to your pal, Day9. Second pikeman, no problem. Alright, I'm keeping, keeping our hero back a little bit. Because if Swagna Ragna starts swinging on in... All right, let's Fight see how me. good Ragna is. Fight me! Interesting. This part of Cherry Stone is more forested than I remember. Yes! We may be able to use it to our advantage. Different terrain types have different advantages and disadvantages. Maybe notice traveling through a forest will slow you down. Mm. Now you mentioned us, now they'll throw a mountain. Mm -hmm. Additionally, as the terrain will increase or decrease the defense of a unit, forests will give you a boost in defense, while rivers will make you vulnerable. You can read more about each terrain type. Oh my god, that mark is so amazing! So if I do this and I attack. Oh. Yishi Dishi. Go here and attack this. What's that? Alright, I'm gonna get a. Look at these rangers, baby. Come poop down. So this will this will be a kill. Attack this. I won't fail! I won't fail! Oh, yeah. And it, okay. Ugh, use the skeletons. If you surrender, we can just end this yeah. now and keep fighting. Never! Okay, so if I actually go here and I attack you, I mean, that's just a bad exchange. Now, if I go to here, I can't make, I can't get into the woods. Oh, crappity shit, Dix. I had no idea that that guy could not move that far. Oh my god, they moved three tiles. I thought they moved more than three tiles. I am, like, I am reeling from embarrassment right now. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna attack this guy. I don't care if there's, like, a spear in here. I don't care. Did you see Fire Emblem? Nah, this is Wargroove, released today. Oh my god, Ragnar would go to the mountains. Oh my god! <laughs> Learning feels like shit sometimes. Oh my god. Dude, first strike is so strong. Where's my pen? I found it. I found my pen. Alright. 
kidding the shit out of me? Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna keep throwing pikemen at this commander here. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get the hell out of here, man. Probably like bounce back and forth through this. Alright, I'm actually gonna recruit a swordman. Oh no I'm not. I'm gonna move this dude over. And then I'm going to retreat, or recruit a swordman to be here. And I'm going to have this swordman kind of go up here. So I'm going to have some forces uh, clearing out this. And I'm going to have like my main little cadre here just wailing and sucking energy out of this village to become a... I'm just going to like make a little reinforcement line there. Oh, get poked! See you later! GG! Alright, so we're, we're, we're moving up here. So this guy can't move that far. And if I move over here, we're gonna reinforce you. Yep! Take all the money! Tee hee You freaking jerk. All right, chipping it, chipping it, and chipping it well. Uh. All right, I think I think we're good. I mean, I don't really want to swing in here. Cause like, if I even do this, then, oh my god! Actually, I'm gonna move here and I'm gonna attack her from below. Okay, so, so if I could get that ranger, do I want to move her somewhere? I want, I want to get her close to the fight, but I'm not going to attack with this dude, because then everyone's vulnerable. So we're just going to end this turn, huh? Boom. Perfect. She's on the move. We need some fast mover, mover bedoovers. Wait. Park in this guy kind of move. Yeah, so I can just, I can just go hide in this tree, huh? So these forces here, and where can this dude go? Because this dude is not going very far at all. One, two. Alright, I'm... If I put her in the front, I feel like she's gonna get shit on. Alright, I'm gonna put this dude here. And we, we are gonna do the slow and steady move forward, huh? We're trying this. This is our goal. Oh, shit, crap, crud. What? Oh my god. Oh, there's shoot back. Okay, I mean, that's good, but. Gimme is gonna turn to check terrible. I love that they're very clearly giving me, like, so much money. Holy shit, we are getting absolutely mollywhopped here, man. Okay, so if I if I move like here and attack this now, so if I move here and attack like this, this is good. So I'll just mostly back. clear these dudes out. <laughs> Poked in the eye. Oh, as soon a happy 88 month anniversary. Boink. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Ah!
Alright. Alright, so I'm actually just attacking this. So this way it maximizes the amount of time that it's alive. There's, there's like so much stuff that I'm missing that I'm not thinking about. I don't give a damn. I have like so much confidence in myself, man. Shit. I think I'm being too aggressive at the top. Alright, so if I can, like, move here and attack this, then I'll be able to deal a bunch of damage. I'll be safe from the pikemen. I can poke on down and hit these arrow, arrow folk. Ow, ow, ow. Bleep, bloop, plop. All right. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's not good. Wow. Dude, first whack is so strong. Yeah, this is good. I have some more free space for my... from a big lady. So that'll be 3%. Oh, shit. Alright, so... I'm definitely gonna move this guy there. I'm definitely gonna move this dude up here. Wait. Should I just like kill the economy here? I don't know. Feels like it feels bad. That's yeah, it's really what I wanna do. Holy cow, dude. Getting first whack is like so strong. Did they move? Oh, that's right. I needed to. I need to click for them to stay. I see what I'm doing wrong with the interface. Okay. All right, and then you go here and you kill this. Okay, this could be like terribly bad, but it's fine. We're gonna. I, I feel like we're gonna get a low rating, and that's okay. Yeah, high ground advantage. I will yeah. hold back. Okay. Do, do my commanders do less damage when they're lower? Health? Sure, freaking looks like it, huh? My god, I mean, I'm not sure if it looks like it. You know, I don't care. I'm capturing this. This is mine. My no. village, give that back! Okay. Capture. Climb on in! Everybody now! Keep making swordsmen, man. No, 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 my horses. Oh my god, my horses are so screwed. Literally just got piked right the hell off. Get out of my way! Alright, I think Ragna might be dead. Hang in there! Dude, this is so funny. Like, I'm getting my ass kicked. Like, all my troops are dead, man. However, our opponent's command is a little too far forward. So we're just gonna kill her, right? All right. This ends now. They don't call me one shot slot for nothing. Yeah. 
No, ha, 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 ha. I'm thinking a C for cool job. Uh, I lost! Huh. Impossible? You must have cheated! Uh, you cheated, didn't you? No. No. <laughs> Mo. Uh. It seems pretty difficult to have a reasonable conversation with you. I'm going to go. Yeah! You better run! The rain. Oh, the rain. It's time to spend all day in the mines. Lord Alar! Huh? Quiet, Ragnar. You disgrace yourself. <laughs> stand aside and let me fix your mess. And he gets a B to all the C and D haters in chat. Cat Dad gets an above average. There it is. Give me two stars, the silver medal, and the big old gleaming smile from What's Her Face, the main character. I don't even remember her name. It's What's Her Face or something like that. C'est délicieux. Okay. Congratulations! You unlocked additional lore about Ragna. Uh-oh. The Lord of the Dead. With Cherry Stone overwhelmed, Mercia must get her people to safety. Hmm. Hmm, so we meet at last. Queen Mercia of Cherry Stone. My queen, that's Valdar, Lord of Felheim Legion, Master of the Fel Valdar. Gauntlet. That's Valdar, oh no! <laughs> Ragna has power but lacks discipline. I fall short on neither. Uh, this, this is a battle we cannot win! So we retreat, but where do we go? Mm -hmm. The Gloomwoods, it's our only option. The... The gloom was dot 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 but dot dot dot. Woof, bark, growl, purr. <laughs> <laughs> Does the queen of Cherry Stone give up on her throne so easily? <laughs> That's the thing, okay. If any, if there's anything that anime has like, like cow seared into my head. What, what's this? What's tss, the cow has my name on it? What's this called again? It's not a cattle prod, and it's not a cow seer. Branded, yeah, cow brand. <laughs> I liked the way that my, did you see the way my brain was working? Did you see how my brain was trying to assemble a new word for the concept I was trying to get across? Uh-oh, I need that cow to have my name on it. Time to get some cow seer. <laughs> Anyways, pulling back on the conversation, the cow seer, the anime has applied to the bovine in my mind is um, that as we established earlier, if you're a female villain, then all of your dialogue has a little bit of let's fuck written all over it. Right, you have that intonation. Um, the, the, the male villain has a sort of careless, easy laughter about everything. Like, it just... I, I can't believe it's not butter, you know? That sort of thing, you know? Mmm. <laughs> it appears that the Queen of Cherry Stone is feeling a little bit unhappy. <laughs> Grr, woof, growl. It's okay, Let's Caesar. Let's start the retreat. We have no choice. Determined, callous, indifferent. Amused by all. I am a male villain in anime. Has word spread? Does everyone know we're leaving? They do. The citizenry is already on the move. They're coming via the west. But the Felheim Legion isn't far behind. Uh, we... Uh, 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 we have to get them out here fast! Uh. Hmm? Mm, indeed, we had best use the wagon. <laughs> I know a solution to this problem. 
We're in a dire circumstance. There's war. We could die soon. Let me level with you. We're cool. We got a wagon. All right. Fetch my longsword, ho. Vehicles like these cover a lot of ground. On roads especially. They're the fastest way to reach the front line. I suggest you climb into this one yourself and then order it out towards the villagers. Click. Clack. Load. Yes. Yes. Mao, you can move the wagon south, closer to the location of the villagers. What, Mao? <laughs> the wagon can only hold one unit at a time. The villagers count as a unit. When you arrive, comma, exit the wagon using drop so that the villagers can climb aboard. Hey, do you want to go eat Italian tonight? I figure around, I don't know, 7.15, we load ourselves into the car, and then we drop nearby the restaurant and walk the rest of the way. Look at how far this wagon moves. Oh my god, this bearded Grumpleton absolutely knew the hype about wagons. Look at the amount of tiles that are covered like it, it the longer i'm leaving this on the more it's starting to give me a headache because it looks like an optical illusion like these these lines need to move just like a little bit more slowly for me but like i'm gonna close my eyes and just say appreciate the surface area of this this is amazing oh look how long this arrow is coming out of oh 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 my god this hero has both logistics and pathfinding drop a hundred percent now i assume that this hundred percent refers to the health as has been consistent in all of the ui throughout my entire playing of this game however i really like the idea that i'm making actions with 100 percent conviction now where do you want to poop out we will poop to the cardinal direction of the south Okay, I made it. I better get these villagers into the wagon. Yes. Yes, you can drop them off I near our barracks. Just have them load and then click the 100% drop button. And now I'm here. I can look out for enemy troops. <laughs> oh my god. I hear there's an invasion coming up from the south. And I was like, what? I was like, ew. <laughs> oh my god, troops invading from the south? Ew. Didn't spend too much time in the valley. Is this guy Deckard Kane? No, if he was Deckard Kane, he'd need to be shaking like this as he spoke. Leah, there's the Dark Lord Diablo. Right, it's really the two fists in the air pumping crazy. Again, two imaginary shake weights go into town. These are shake weights, by the way. These are still shake weights, but this is easier on the uh, shoulders. Okay, these are shake weights. But if you're doing this, remember, you have your shake weights. And then you do the old man voice. Leah! Okay, these are shake weights. What, what if you do them asynchronously? Then this person's angry. <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Oh, this is a good day. We're having a good day. We're having a good day off. We're having a good day off. Oh, you know what? I gotta get some water. I gotta get some water. I gotta get some water because this is expending a lot of fluid. <laughs> this is very, this is a very uh, fluid in, fluid out matter of conservancy stream. I can look out for enemy traps. 
Yes, and with the wagon near the barracks, you'll be able to ferry more units to your side. Master Tom Manel says I had to sub for the shake weights. That's great. That's that's uh, this is a technique that I learned from another uh, video streaming industry. Alternate the use or alternate the use of the wagon to transport your troops to battle, and the villagers to safety. Yeah, yeah, I will. Thank you, Amarak. Wow, he was like he, he totally didn't need to do that, and he did, and I was like, oh, well, thank you. All right, what now? Is it? Load. Alright, so we need to go from down there to up here. And I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get a ranger and soon enough a wagon. If I... If I whoa! Whoa! What, it's a new menu. Uh, I'm going to the overview. I'm seeing your income 400. Ha <laughs> ha! My name is Valdar, and there's no way I'm capable of losing. Ha 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 I need to get that tone a little better, man. We're gonna listen to Valdar. We're gonna hone in on Valdar, friendar. From Kengar Vengar. Uh... I assume that there won't be that many enemies coming from the upright. So I'm just gonna go to... Clip the clock, clip the clock, clip the clock, clip the clock. You guys are looking good. End turn. No! No! The Felheim Legion! We have to protect the villagers! What if we lose one of the groups? No! Go! As a commander, you're strong enough to handle the first wave on your own. Wait. 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 All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go drop a load over here. Oh, fuck. I bet you there's gonna be nerds coming from here, so I'm just gonna go here, and I'm gonna go here. Clippy clock. Clippy clock. Clippy clock. All right. No. Shoot arrows at the wood. Get the door. All right. That day nine, he's just always thinking. Day nine is. All right. Walk the rest of the way. Be a dip thong. Load. Drop. God, yeah. Oh, shit, yes. That's what I'm... This is absolutely what the fuck I'm talking about right here is what I'm doing. Oh, my God. If you want a ranger, you bet your all of your money I want... Oh, my God, yes. Get the wagon here. Oh, look at this. We're cycling. I didn't realize a big brain could feel this good. I had no idea the size of my mind would be so considerable. Alright, I think I'm I think step one is to just completely dunk on this archer. We're gonna go ahead and spear him right right in those little eye holes. Ooh, don't you wish he just covered those up and we're firing blind little archer boys. Okay, going down, attack, whack, smickety smack. Brace yourself! I gotta like move this chair way far forward. I keep like ugh, hunching over. Again, what I call question mark pose. All right, Pikeman, you good? You good? You good? You good? We good. All right, end turn. My queen. My queen. More refugees have arrived on the West Road, and others will follow. What? Oh, you would try to just whack the building. I don't believe this. Shoot him with arrows. Oh, dude, please, I insist. Come on, yeah. Have a poke. Chopped to bits. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. Poof, puff, puff. Poof, puff, puff. Alright, so you are abs- Oh my god, 67%? Okay, so... 
So I gotta, I gotta keep my horse, my horse back. Go here, attack, kill it. All right, first things first. Nay, winny, 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 winny. Poke, 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 poke. All right, let's go ahead and get the refugee up in here. God, this guy can't walk at all. And drop him in the trees. Oh my god, perfect. So, the, so these guys... Oh my gosh, I actually feel like a proper tactician. This is this is crazy. All right, we're we're loading drops and dropping loads. I really wish I'd kept a ranger here, huh? Shit. No big deal. I'll just build a pikeman. Hello. And everything's good, right? This is so good. It's my HQ. Okay, so this actually shows my income. I think right here, right here is 250, 250. Feeling nifty, feeling thrifty. End the turn. End the turn. No. Turn four. Yeah. Click clack, click clack, click clack, click clack, click clack. Uh oh. Woo! All right, so this is going to drop this dude up. Actually, so when this... Very well. Very well. Well done, Queen Mercia. The, the villagers has transformed into smoke, which means that they're safe now. Especially according to Thanos. Uh, the first of the villagers have made it safely to the pass. Keep going. You got it. I'm going to go ahead and drop 100% of a load right on the ground next to the road. Pretty good, pretty good bar. Wait. One, two, three. All right. Anything that's like here in this area seems good. Wait. Can't be killed if you turn to smoke. Truth. So this is 45% and this is 59%. So we can like kill everything here. So I mean th this one's going to be superlatively straightforward, right? Because I can just like destroy Brace everything yourself. super easily. Brace yourselves! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! And then Yeah, I guess Ah, yes, that's how I deal with how moving. Alright, so we're gonna take some bow and arrow damage, but we were able to crit, crit. Hurt him a bit. Clippy clock, clippy clock. Damn. Perfect. Easy peasy thing of beauty. Alright, this position looks safe, it looks good. Unless they, like, try to sweep down here, in which case... Fuck them. Uh... Are we good? I think we're good. I'm in the turn. Save you all. More villagers will keep you safe. Main character is blowing? Yeah, I don't know why that is, man. No! Oh, yeah, I bet. See you later. Oh. I feel, I don't know, fired up. Queen. It's the namesake, my queen. You have charged it for the very first time. <laughs> Grooves are a gift. Commanders like you and I charge them as we battle. You must use your groove to benefit your forces. I want to use it to heal them. Focus your energy and cast a healing aura. 
it will restore some measure of health to you. And any nearby friends and A allies. tactical advantage. A tactical advantage. When used at the right time, this ability may very well turn the tide of battle. So if I navigate this guy, wait. Attack this dude. Hi, yeah. Whoa, whoa. I think this is still good to just blow this guy out. Hey, hey! Killed me since we hired Day Nine for the voice actor for all this game. Unfortunately, the game's out now. It's out now. Right now. I can get to here. Mm -hmm. Oh crap. Yeah, so then this guy also wants to be here. How far can these guys go? I'm not just gonna wait, man. Horses kind of cycling in and out of battle. How many villagers do I need to save me? I don't even know. We got one wagon just chilling. Great. End turn. So many wagons. Oh, please bring it on, Baldar. I insist. Oh my god, that was so much damage. This, this exists in the game? I'm so glad I have multi-wagon. God, I hate going second, man. Going second is terrible. Okay. What are these guys strong against? Regular helmy guys? Okay. I'm just going to first do our refugee thing. I'm going to get a Kneef. We're going to recruit him. Put him there in the forest where he loves it. We're going to load up this. I'm going to drop this guy right here in front. He's ready to go. Boom. Alright, so we want to attack like this. Hey, Avatar's happy 44 months. Oh, four. Okay, so I'm actually going to back up here and see this guy. They're all coming in. So good. I'm going to just have this little townsperson go there. Perfect. Perfect. No problem. Alright, it's time to... It's time to shoot her. Hey guys, how much does a healing aura do? Does a bit. Tickle, 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 tickle. Oh, she's Brace weak. Yourself. I'm full or nearly full health. Okay, cool. Cause like all, most of the dudes down here are in pretty good shape. Don't worry, my queen. Clippy clock, clippy clock, clippy clock. I probably should have whacked with the knees uh, first. Dun, 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 dun. 
What, you want me to end the turn myself? Is that what you want? What you really, really want? Is that what you want? What you really, really want? Another group of refugees, your majesty. Oh my god, is the Skeleman? Why did the refugee show up at that turn? Why? Oh, thank god, it's just attacking a helpless village. Oh my god, if I lost a village, er, I'd be like, er, McGird, er, ner. What? What is this? What do you think you're gonna do? You're gonna crash into the door, man? Are you kidding? This is not some Ikea-ass door, man. Get out of here. See you later. Oh yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna lose a smidge of health. Ugh. Ugh. That's right. Get in range of my archer. Do -do 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 -do. So how much damage is 74%? Well, watch this. Wait. Oh my god, that's actually not what I wanted to do, is it? Oh my god, that's not what I wanted to do, is it? Something's happening. Something's happening inside me. God, that's what I wanted to do in the first place. Goodness, goodness gracious. You can never let up your focus for even one second when playing Wargroove. Alright, so I'm gonna sort of wait here. Centrally located place. I'm gonna keep getting Rangars. I really like Rangar Knight. Uh, you're, you're just gonna mosey your way up there. Wait. Alright, we're gonna keep sending all the Nest clones up to the top right. That seems good. We're gonna move this. Fine, gentlemen, over here. Wait. I'm actually gonna... Healing Aura. Wait a minute. Healing Aura? To everyone around? I'll save you all. Healing Aura! No! <laughs> that was... Oh, that was amazing. Can we just do this all the time? Oh my god. That was amazing. Let's just do this every day after brunch. I mean, that was, that feels good. I mean, I certainly, I certainly wait a little bit. Oh, give me a quick moment. I'm getting. Guys, I have news. My phone auto pay successfully went through. And in addition, my Geico car payment went through. Thanks, phone tech. Into the Breach is pretty fun looking with Dan and played it. Yeah, oh, I love Into the Breach. God, I forgot that game existed. Woohoo! Yeah, no, like, again, Into the Breach, Slay the Spire, this, uh, Wargroove. Um, all games that have this quality of here is all the information. It's not like Final Fantasy VII early JRPG days where it's like, I do a thing, then you do something that I have no clue what it's going to be. Then I do a thing, then you do something that I have no clue what it's going to be. Then I do a thing, and you do a thing I have no clue what it's going to be. And... Wow, things are just... Things suck after someone cast a masked sleep spell, so I guess I better just use all my Phoenix Downs in this fight, right? It's sort of like the chaotic randomness. A lot of the joy that I got from those early RPGs, uh, even Chrono Trigger, that's one of my favorite games of all time, the battling was not that interesting in a lot of ways. You know, you'd sort of like just beat the shit out of everything, and it was the fact that you kept growing in power. Like, let me tell you, at the end of Chrono Trigger, the only thing I did was start the fight, cast Luminaire, move on with the story. That was it. <laughs> Terminus Thrall, good to see you. And KFGs just gift him three subs. Amagat, M the Unreal, who don't. Mm -mm -mm. But I love these games where all the information is present. Mm, only when you have fought enough to charge your groove fully. The charge will slowly build up on its own, but fighting and defeating enemies will accelerate the process. Therefore, if a weakened enemy is nearby, it's sensible to land the finishing blow yourself. <coughs> but quicker to charge your groove. But remember, we can't afford to lose you. So don't overstretch yourself. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I got it, but it just feels amazing. 
All right. You in the wagon. Wagon, drop the dude here. This wagon, loiter. And spend all my fucking money. Spend that hard-earned dough, baby. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do a horseful retreat. This is a bit of an issue. Mm, excuse me. Evil Skelemans, turn nine. All right, first things forced. Attack. This half is full. No! Clap, 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 clap. Ah. Yeah, this thing needs to move anyways. So, let's see. Where is this thing's movement going to be at? See you later, alligator. Look at him sitting there, sadly, with his little wiggly spike. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. So the black that says he played StarCraft and Dota, so he plays games with par partial information as well. I would actually um, put StarCraft, for instance, much more on the extreme you know what's going on. End of things. Um, like, this, this is literally a pure information StarCraft. You technically don't know the position of troops, and you don't know if he's doing build order A versus build order B versus build order C. But you know it's one of those three possibilities. Or I guess you should say, I guess I should say there's many different builds, but you know all of them. You know all the builds. The, like, high level StarCraft strategy, like, a lot of people think that it's about, I must scout to figure out what you're going to do. And at that point, now that I see what you do, I can develop a plan. Uh, actually, StarCraft kind of happens in the sort of inverse way, which is that I have a plan for the small set of possibilities that exist, period. I know every single thing you possibly can be doing. I'm scouting just to know if it's this one or this one. I already know exactly how to deal with these two. It's just, is it this one or is it this one? Um, and so... Um, you know, a lot of people overvalue scouting. But, you know, if you watch really good players, there comes a point where they're just like, yeah, no, I'm not scouting because there's nothing to scout because I know exactly what they're doing. Uh, it doesn't feel chaotic and random. Even, even like Dota, where you don't know the positions, you don't know what items people are buying. is It's a highly, highly structured game. It's actually kind of hilarious how structured Dota is as a game. Um, it's fantastic. All right, let's kill shit. Shall we? All right. Wait. Wait. <laughs> E.K. Hawkman says Dota is the best game, yes. And Dallas Sooner says Dota is impossible. It's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, so how far can you move so you will be able to shoot one... I mean, I feel like this is this is the way to play for the most part, is like, be defensive until you can be a first striker. There's no way you'll want to fight me. This guy's gonna get shot at. Which sucks. I should have been aware of this dude. This dude's gonna get rocked. You know what? I don't have any swordmen and I want one. Boom, there it is. Turn's done, right? Turn's over. Mm -hmm. Last the refugees. Once you're safe, you must escape too. Okay, perfect. You bring it on, dude. You wanna go? I'm gonna take, what, 30? I'm sorry, excuse me? No S for Sean. Alright, 
I gotta move the Nesses. Dude, this smile is like... <clears throat> smile for the photo, but I don't know what to do with my face. This weather, Valdar must be near. You must hurry, though. It will be harder now. Our ranged ground units won't be able to fire as far and severe. Are we kidding me? How do I, how do I, what, what? How do I know at all what happens in the rain? Load thyself. I will now drop 100%. No, I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna wait there. It's an attack. The empty tiles indicate attack range, says Yo Man. Ah. Oh. Wait. Would you like 101% of my love? Oh, it killed you. Nice guys can't win anymore, can they? Clippy clock. My love is too strong. It's I'm smothering it. All right, so I want to create a wall. See my good old archers behind it. Johnson asks us, "This looks boring." Oh my god, it's so fun, man! It's so good. I mean, the only reason I think that you might... Why on earth would you wait there? Hello? I really think the only reason this might look boring is just that I'm so good. You might be going, what's the challenge? And the answer is, there's none. I'm far too powerful for this game to handle. Wait. Let's see if we can glitch this AI right here. Oh, I don't deal damage. Hello. All right, and everyone's in. Virtual Hams is reminding myself that confidence is, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. You know what? I just, I refuse to believe that anymore. I refuse to. Overconfidence is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Fleeing your kingdom, a true queen would face ruin with her head held high. <laughs> Yeah, Johnson, man, you should try it out. Or get a demo, or watch stream. I'm, I'm enjoying the shit out of it. Valder! Valder! Oh my god! My queen, do not engage Valder in battle. You can't defeat him, but you can save these. I people. won't let you down. You're right, I won't, I won't. I'm gonna not do it. Is this game? Do we win? Oof. Oh, forgot to build last turn. Oopsie doopsie. Is that it? Did I just win? My queen. That was the last of those. Time to get yourself to safety too, Queen Marcia. I'm on my way. Oh, dude. Uh oh, this is gonna be a little stressful, huh? Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey! Mm, 
I don't want to do anything else. Da -da -da -da. I think I just, I think I just run her off, huh? By the holy light! By my hand, rise! I sure hope I don't lose this villain. Yeah. Shoot her! Clop, 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 clop. Anything that sounds ant, uh, insect like, don't like it. I really want an S, but I don't think we're gonna get it. So many troops. Come on, get him. Get him. Uh-oh. Alright, well, we lose one village, so I guess we're gonna get an A. I feel like I did pretty damn good in this one. Is S just, like, nothing at all, Dine? Alright. Ugh. Ugh. Ah. Ah. Ah! <laughs> You've made it. Well done, my queen. I'm going to explode! Let's just get... Oh, Jesus Christ! Ragna. Follow them. Yeah! Woo! Ha ha ha! Ha! Hold him down! Turn him down! Let's be back! Again, I'm trying to scream upwards so I'm not yelling at the microphone. Ha! Dot, dot, dot. Sigrid? Hmm, <laughs> Sigrid, go with her. That's right, I need to smooth out my voice more. Sigrid, go with her. Make sure she gets this done properly. Hmm? Hmm? And you? Felheim needs its master. I trust you to oversee this task. <sighs> Very well. Clip clop. It's Despy. Hello. Dot dot dot. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Where's my A? Where's my. Ah. Oh. It's right here. But I still wish it were an S. Where's my A? There it is. I wish it was an S. By the way, guys, look what I look what I cracked when I was. Oh wow, I really can't show you this. Look, it's a crater hoof behemoth. Like seriously, there's <laughs> there's control players out there that just see the silhouette and get panicked. Hmm. Should probably get a sleeve for it, but got it right here. I also got a. I, by the way, I, I just want to take a moment to appreciate this. Okay, so so I got a box of uh, Ravnica Allegiance. And the box, it has the usual sort of lip that you open up. You can open it up. And then you can tuck it into the back. So again, like, here, here it is when it's shut. And then you, like, pull this little lip up. And then you tuck it in. And it makes a little display. So I've just been like cracking a pack whenever I need a, you know, whenever I need a, a hit. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we get something good. I love like design of everyday thing stuff. I, I like just the way that Kleenex boxes constructed constructed that sort of stuff. All right, let's just go straight to the rare. Oh my God, yes. Zagana, Utopian speaker. Look, look at how beautiful and transparent she is. Can you see her at the right angle? Ah, it smells like a fresh pack. It's so good. And set this back over there. All right, so probably play like one more battle, a chunk of one more battle, and then I have no coffee in this house.
So I'm gonna go downstairs and get some coffee. Take a sort of a proper break, I would say. A proper break. A proper break. A proper break. EK Hawkman says going right for the rare. Wow, no discipline. Yeah, yeah, no, that's me now. I learned that from my friend who plays Legacy <sighs> and Vintage. Oh, oh my God, that was close. <laughs> we can't rest here. It isn't safe. And we can't return without reinforcements. Huh? We can't can we just regroup it? Valdar is a skilled commander, and the gauntlet he wields is an artifact of immense power. To defeat him, we'll have to destroy it. Mm -hmm. But we haven't the strength to do that alone. So what do we do? We need to head east to Heavensong and seek aid from Empress Denry. Tenry! Your father and the Empress were old friends. <laughs> they were old friends, if you know what I mean. Alright, so there's there's air quotes, and then there's under quotes. Okay? If you want to make something be a little tinged with creepiness, you'll use the under quotes. That's what you use, right? I gotta go to Trader Joe's and pick up a dozen eggs. <laughs> it doesn't, there's some, like, see, this is air quotes, something filthy. It's really, it's actually just 180 degrees is the difference, that's about it. I, can, I don't even have to change the tone. It's like, oh yeah, I like, uh, <laughs> I'm a fan of tactical strategy, right? I'm a fan of tactical strategy. Like, something filthy's going on. A lot of learning happening. Yeah, no, you're spot on, says. Sorry, XX. A lot of learning. If anyone can help us, it's her. That's a long journey. <laughs> Ooh. -woo. Let's go. But we have to try. Clock, clock, clock. Woof. Bark. Snarl. <laughs> Fresh prey. <laughs> this is, again, this is another archetypical character. Like, I am inspired by lizard and evil. These are the two roots of my voice. Ha, <laughs> ha, fresh bread. Mmm. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, Tori. Yeah, Tori, lunch meat. Oh, my God. When we are thinking the same, we have the same mind. Plop, 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 plop. Congratu <laughs> Congratulations! You have unlocked the arcade game mode. Awesome. Congra Congratulations! You unlocked Aurania in the codex. In we go. Click clock clock. Beyond the border, the party escapes to the gloom woods, only to face. Fresh dangers. Play mission. Trespassers. Oh, who are these interlopers? <laughs> we don't mean you any harm, Florin. We just need to cross your lands. Crossing through the gloom woods a dangerous choice. I'm telling you, man. You show me some green with some question marks. You have and I know it's the lizard guy, right? It's the lizard guy that holds his S's for a long time. I know it's it's a lizard guy, you know what I mean? The Hunties are florid lands. This is where we live. This is where we hunt. I don't know why they didn't use italics, man. They were like, it needs to have more pizzazz. Humans do not come here. Hmm? The Cherry Stone Kingdom negotiated the right to save passage generations ago. And I'm someone who thinks that fights can get resolved with technicalities. I know we don't use it very often, but we need it now. We have no choice. Sedge <laughs> I can't fucking read. Oh, his name is Sedge. Is Sedge a word? Miriam Webster, speak to me. Alright, where's my Miriam Webster dictionary at? Sed Sedge is a word, I didn't realize this. 
Come on, it's loading. A plant like grass that grows in wet ground or near water. Sedge. That's so great. Sedge. It's perfect. I love, I love this voice thing. Where, like, um, you know, you can just get it to say shit. Like, they're similar. It's, like, so good. Like, here's an interesting question. Interesting question for you guys. Do you know what the pe the plural of penis is? Peenies. It's peenies. Did you know that? I didn't know that. It's peenies. Thanks, Miriam Webster. That's amazing. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? You know what the plural of vagina is? Vagina. Isn't that amazing? Because I, I just put an S at the end, and that's wrong, apparently. Vagina. It's like it's such a treat to have the Merriam-Webster dictionary app. The thing is that like I'm a little bit, a little stuck up about my dictionary. It's like dictionary.com. No, don't use it. Never have. Never will. Merriam-Webster. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Word of the day. Share it with me. Haven't looked today. That's fine. That's a little treat for later. It's like waiting to open your advent calendar before bed. All right. Sedge. Where the little lady seeks passage, Sedge seeks. <laughs> Do you threaten the queen of Cherry Stone? <laughs> <laughs> queen, silly titles do not impress Sedge. Whatever you call your selves, you're still just meat and bone. This is this is a line I bring out anytime I feel like I'm losing a fight. You're an asshole. I'm not an asshole. Whatever you call yourself, you're still just meat and bones. Woo! I'll throw them off. Like, I suppose technically that's why are you why are you bringing this up? <laughs> Sedge will eat the old man first, and the lady. The reading is so hard with this voice. Sedge will eat the old man first, and the little lady for seconds. <sighs> Stand down, stranger, or be cut down. Oh my god, the dog multiplied. Never leave the dog alone. The forest is so dense and the fog so thick, but we must press on. What's the plural of dick? It's peenies. Alright. Yes, yes, we should use our battle pups to scout ahead. Aww. Pups inflict critical hits when another pup is adjacent to their target. More importantly, they can see furthest through the fog. Send one of them up the mountain. Being atop a mountain extends the sight range of a unit. Why didn't they tell me that until now? I can't believe they've done this. Probably because there hasn't been any fog. From which Very spot well. Anyway. Let's move forward carefully. Neutralize the enemy barracks. Okay, it's gone. Alright, so... Oh. <sighs> I think it might be a good time to take a little break. I... You heard the yawn of Sean, and I got it going on. I need to get some coffee. I need to go downstairs and need to get that coffee. I need to go downstairs and need to get that coffee. So I'm gonna do it. Uh, cause we don't have a lick of coffee in this house. 